Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. In this video, we will look at the difference between a test object and a runtime object. So before we dive in, let's uh, take a quick peek into a sample script and then we'll you know, understand what these both uh, type of objects are. So I have a, a base script here, uh, it primarily, let, let me take a look at the canvas. So this script, uh, it has some init action, probably it's, in, uh, it's invoking the application, and then it is logging in, and then it's pretty much exiting out of the application. And uh, of course, I mean, this is using our, uh, our flight reservation sample application. So let us take a quick peek into uh, the object repository of the action login. So before I before I go there, let me close this. Uh, let me go to active screen. So here are the steps. So we do have the screens. Let's go to object repository. So within the object repository, uh, we see a login, which is here a dialog box of a of class dialog. Then we have OK, agent name, and a password. We have three objects. And as you can see, you know, uh, these are nothing but test objects. So, you know, we'll come back again and talk about what a test object is. Primarily, these are all the objects, and we are calling them as test objects. Okay. Now, let us uh, run the application and then talk about the difference. So for now, I mean, there's application is not running. The recording has been done. It has saved everything, and we have these objects. So if I were to run the, uh, you know, the application, say for example, I have login screen here for the sample application. So if you were to compare these two, I have the dialog box here. So the EFT tool identified the dialog box and it captured the you know the name and certain properties so that it can recognize the object again so when it deals with ok so it knows that the ok button needs to be part of the login dialog box and this ok object is of type of win button and here are the properties so it will use these descriptions to identify the object OK. In this case, OK button. So within the application, this is the OK button. Then OK is an object here. OK is an object here. Both are objects. Then what is the difference? Here, the OK button on the application, it's actually the object on the application while it is running. But whereas this is the information of an object that was stored, collected and stored within the script. So that's the difference. This is not the actual object. This is just the information of the object, whereas this, OK, is the object. So that's the difference. So this is the runtime object. This is what? The test object. So then the objects that are stored within UFT are nothing but test objects. So so it, it stores the properties of the objects and works with the object while running the application, meaning when you run the test case or the test, the EFT will invoke the application and it will go through the script and identifies the object based on the descriptions it has. That means these are the test objects that it needs to work with. But the same thing in the runtime, this is referred to as runtime object. I mean, understanding the difference is the key 
when you get into the advanced topics like you know we're getting to descriptive programming uh, getting the values from these objects you know it makes easy if you understand the difference here so I mean the concept itself is quite simple the application is running so objects there are runtime objects simple runtime objects RO runtime objects whereas this is a test objects TO test object and remember the word TO and the word RO TO is test object RO is a runtime object because we'll be using those you know in the descriptive programming and also when we collect data off of the screens well that's it about uh, you know understanding uh, what a test object and what a uh, runtime object is within uh, uh, within UFT I hope uh, you know it, it helped you in understanding the difference and uh, you know definitely this knowledge you, you will see that it, it's really useful when you get into the other concepts within a UFT Thank you very much for uh, you know watching this video. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.